yo, what's happening? This is like, I don't know, a completely different video from what I post usually, but honestly, uh, you know, I thought this would just be a lot of help to anybody who like finds this or needs this. So yeah, so basically today I'm going to be showing you how to make a gorilla tag thumbnail. I know, so cool. So the first thing I have to do is look, head over to the description where you can find gorilla tag stuff here. Like, you're going to download that by just click on this link here. And then, uh, the gorilla tag, like, the gorilla tag called rig. So if you just press on that, then, well, it should be downloaded. So, you know, that's good. Once you download both of those things, head over to Blender. And then, once you're in Blender, you should be able to press General. Then head over, press Open here. Don't mind all this stuff here. But there should be the Gorilla Tag uh, IK rig here. You're going to click on that. And I'm just going to, but you do click on that thing. And then you just open it. And then, once it's opened, you should have like this. See, that's pretty easy to do. If you want like... What you got? If you want to get the color on this, and all you need to do is click on this, go into it and zoom out using your scroll wheel, and right here it shows the primary color. So you can click on that, you can change it. If uh, you want your exact hex code, then what you can do is you can get get an image of like your gorilla tag color. You can click on it. It'll give you like I don't know your color like here. Click on the lightest part because that usually gives you the most accurate. Click on that, then head back over into Blender. And if you click on primary color and just paste in what you just copied there, then you then you should have your color basically. All you need to do is just bring the brightness up here and you should just have your color there. So yeah, that's nice. If you want to change your name on the gorilla tag thing, then you have to click on this, then press tab on your keyboard, and then you can just type it in. Remember that gorilla tag usernames are in full caps. So you know you can just uh type in that. That's the gorilla tag username I have, JSS. What you call it? If you want to add your hat, then uh, what you need to do, head over to File, then click on Import, FBX, gorilla tag stuff. Just like double click on that, please. Then head over to Cosmetics, FBX files, and uh, let's just say I want a uh, banana hat. Okay, so we've got the banana hat here, so we're just going to put this on top of the head. Like so. Hold up, need to line this up. Yeah, that seems good enough to me. So we're going to head over to shading. I'm going to scroll back out. I'm going to look at like this bit here. Okay, so once you add your hat, you're going to click on it. Then it should bring up this menu if you click on shading again. Then all you need to do is click on this little file here. Head over to your downloads, go to Gorilla Tag stuff, Gorilla Tag stuff again, called Cosmetics, Hat Textures, and then click on Hatless.png. And then once you enter that, then uh, you should have just this on top of the Gorilla Tag monkey. See, yeah, that's nice. So we're going to go back in the layout. Now, if you want to actually, like, you know, if you want to actually start, like, posing your character, then all you need to do is click on it. Actually, no, click on this circle around it. Then head over to this bit that says Object Mode, then press Pose Mode. Once you have this, then you can click on the hands to pose it, like, you know, you can change the arms, move them and everything. Just call it. Uh, if you move the head or anything like that, you will have to put this bit, like, you will have to change the placement of this banana, but that's okay. Now, if you want to change one specific arm, then click on this bull X, and, you know, you should, ha you just should have full control of it. So let's just uh, let's just do something simple for now. So I'm just gonna do both arms. Actually, hold up. I'm just gonna have both arms just going out equally like this. Yep, that seems good enough for a thumbnail. You think? Okay. So once you're done posing, what you're gonna do? You're gonna go back in the object mode by clicking off them and just clicking and like bringing this back. And then I'm gonna click add. Go down the camera, then you should have this camera here, but well, obviously you want to move it around. So what we're going to do is click view, then cameras, set as active object as camera. Now you see that you can't move it, all you need to do right now, just click view, head over navigation, go down the walk navigation. Now you should be able to move it if your mouse and WSD. So if you just like move this over to where her monkey is, so hold up. Yeah, like, 
like that. We can use Q and E to move up and down, if you didn't know that. And then oh, once you got it in place, what you need to do is just the left click on your mouse and you should have it like that. If you want to go back, then uh, all we need to do is just click on this little camera thing here. Click on that, it should bring you out of it. So you can click on this to go in it and click on this to go out of it. Now, what you call it, if you're, um, if like, if you want it to be like how it's going to look during a the render, then you can press the viewport shading, which will show this. So this is basically just my thing done. So I'm going to click on this. That looks fine to me. Actually, wait, hold up. I can change one more thing. So now we're going to press the render tab up here. Place render image. And then that's what it's going to look like during the render. Click image. Save as. Oh, you can change the name here. I'm just going to call this uh, tutorial. I don't know if that's spelled right, but you know, we don't care. Save image. Then you're going to head over to whatever browser you're using. Go to this thing here called remove.bg. This is what I use for all my things. Then you're going to go in your files, downloads, and find your, find your thing here, like so. Then drop that in. And boom, there you go. Now there is a download HD, but you will have to like sign in. It only gives you one download HD, sadly. It gives you one credit. So I'd say just download it like this. So now you've got that and it has no background. Tada. Okay, so once you uh Okay, so once you got your like my monkey I guess cut it out, you can click you can go on this website called Canva. It's quite nice. You you can just click type up Canva, it should probably come up with this. Then uh what you call it? Like just do all like the sign up, you know? That you don't actually have to make an account or anything, or I'm pretty sure you don't actually. No, you probably do. Anyways, once you make it to like this screen here, just press on YouTube logo, then go down the uploads. You can get your like monkey guy here. It isn't gonna be there for you because I've already like done this before, but like re record because I suck. You know, you got your monkey here, then you can upload another file. This is a this is an image I uploaded a bit ago. You know you can get your like monkey in here. You can like, you can scale that all the way up. This is it's a massive image, so I can just kind of make it as big as I want. Then I'm just gonna send that back. Yep, so this is our nice little thumbnail here. Now if you want to save that, press File, Download, and then click Download again here, and just let that download. And there you go, there's your Gorilla Tag thumbnail. Congrats, you did it. Now if you want to do that again, it's quite easy to figure out after you do it the first time. Uh, if this helped you make like a video or a thumbnail, then I don't know, good for you. Have a nice day and bye.